Sketch houses a collection of restaurants and bars in Mayfair, London. This is certainly grand, isn't it, this entranceway? What do you think of this, this kind of rich gold ceiling? That's kind of a spectacular touch. It's different, isn't it? It's not like an ordinary white ceiling. Yeah, very glitzy. It's a world-class showcase of interiors. Each room has been individually created by some of the greatest contemporary artists and designers. Well, different than here. That's very different, yeah. So what do you think? Could you imagine having a forest in your dining room? <laughs> I've not seen anything like this before. It's really theatrical, isn't it? It's just amazing. It yeah. makes you feel a bit, like, happy. <laughs> yeah. Animal Wonderland, isn't it? <laughs> it is like that. I'm not saying that you need to do your dining room up like this, but it does give you an idea, doesn't it, of just beyond the plain, ordinary materials. Wow. <laughs> I thought of this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a perfect room. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? Yeah. The Gallery Restaurant by award-winning architect and designer India Madhavi is an amazing example of a focused concept. I love how it's just, just two things where it's just pink and then this copper colour. Yeah. Really beautiful, isn't it? It's just perfect. The room clearly appeals to Anam, but the real success here comes from its scale. We want to have a feature wall in every room. That idea of creating one wall of colour, when you see this place, don't you think there are these rooms that are conceived as a whole? Yeah. Have we got the confidence to go and do a full room in a similar vein? I haven't got the confidence. I think Anam has. Yeah, it's just about being brave and just being able to sort of go for it. The restaurant upstairs draws on the owner Morad Mazuz's North African heritage with opulence at its heart. So what do you make of this? Amazing. <laughs> this room is doing it for me. It's so tranquil here. Yeah. This partition though does look does look useful for you, doesn't it? Because it's that sense of connecting two spaces. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a fantastic idea and it really kind of gives you this huge grand Kind of entrance into because yeah because you decided to go for that double door didn't you between did. the entrance hall and the lounge and this is just a beautiful treatment of a threshold doing something like that with textiles with leather but it's definitely definitely luxurious isn't it to me this is probably the favorite part and i'm feeling the coziness i'm feeling a kind of tranquility for me it's been phenomenal to just absorb and appreciate and um, I've taken a lot away from this. Yeah. But however much they like it, there's still a hurdle to get over. You know, it's our job to go and create, show the creativity that we've seen here and transpire that into names, mind, which is a difficult task. I think the most important bit of progress today was that they were no longer talking about which material they should buy or which they shouldn't buy. They were talking about how they felt in this interior and the fact that design has communicated that to them makes me really, really thrilled. But will they be able to hang on to that confidence and enthusiasm for their home once they've got back to Burnley? <laughs>